This is uh, Sil Talon coming to you live on 11 120, the day after Halloween. I hope that your trick or treating was fun. You had a lot of good time. You and the parents and the kids, whoever it may be, and hopefully you're all doing well this fine Sunday morning. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing a little more Beast Lord action and just getting down and having some fun with the game. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the Guild Hall. I'm pretty much preparing and buffing up myself so that I may uh, do the next dailies that are going on. So we'll be probably heading to uh, another uh, Plane of Power zone to try to uh, finish up uh, the Kill 5 quest, of course. It's going to be quite fun and interesting. Now, why I didn't... Must have had someone else selected. Oh, no. It went through. Just didn't see the animation. Ha, ha, ha. So we're going to go through and pretty much buff up, get ready for everything. Get the focus, the, and then this one. Spirit. I'm going to probably be killing five war pigs and another plane. That's what the uh, quest was yesterday, so we'll be doing that today. And then pretty much, uh, I think we're going to explore that actual dungeon a bit since I'm high enough level to uh, actually walk around there pretty effectively easily. So we'll have some fun with it. All the while, we'll try to work on uh, getting up to level uh, 74. We're about, uh, I believe, 25, 30% into the level, so we're doing good. So this has been a, quite an interesting experience. The uh, level cap right now is, uh, oops, did I do that one? Yes, I did. The level cap right now is uh, level 80, so we're going to actually go to 80. So we're just going to straight level through to level 80, because I have a pretty good, uh, good amount of set of AA set aside and used. So I feel that I'm confident enough to actually get to 80 and effectively fight well. So hopefully uh, we'll get some good XP in, maybe a good uh, dungeon run. Who knows? We might even get uh, picked up by a group that's leveling up and uh, getting uh, some fun uh, action in that way as well. Who knows? It's always interesting each and every day I play EverQuest that something could happen at any time. And I don't mind the uh, group requests. I love uh, actually going with people and doing stuff. All right, there we go. And, oh, yeah. So, I so forgot about that. I've been in a dungeon for so long, I keep forgetting to actually cast my Spirit of the Wolf. Works almost everywhere. Except for specific dungeons that uh, turn it off if you're in there. That was nice. Franklin Teat. Or Teak. Haha, <laughs> Teat. 70s active? No, not yet. Damn. I was hoping this the 70s would be uh, active. Fortress of Zeke. Yeah, I know where that is. Go 
we'll get the quest done first, and then we'll focus on uh, exploring. The interesting thing about the Fortress of Zeke, they have in the area that we're going to go into a group of 20 boars that basically roam around and pretty much go through some of the areas that we're going to be in. That means that I have to keep a special eye out for them and invis myself and be out of a fight before they arrive. Otherwise, they get trained by 20 damn boars that I cannot handle. <laughs> and that's bad. Oh, did I empty out my bags first? No, I did not. Got to go back and empty out bags. I don't have my EXP recovery, so I got to be very, very careful. I used that yesterday when I got trampled by those damn boars. That was so annoying. I'm like, okay, I'm going to say spot. They shouldn't come this way. And they turned and went right at me. They happen to path in that exact direction. What luck. I feel so privileged. <laughs> Alright. Jeez. Ha. <laughs> Definitely worth nothing. Good to know. Let's see here. friend is doing. He got his characters up to pretty high level and he can group with me. Hopefully he'll be on today and I can take him where I'm going. This way? No. No, it's the other way. Tranquility. So our bags are empty. Now we're going to go down and get ourselves some more fat loots. <laughs> or garbage loots, whichever comes first. <laughs> this zone doesn't have the best loot, but it does have pretty decent experience. So can't complain too much.
right here. Let's see. We got our spells loaded. Yes, we do. Let's do it to it. As you can see, we're doing so much better here. All my spells land. I do some pretty good damage, decent damage to it. The water can actually take a beating without me having to heal it constantly. So we're in pretty good shape. We can actually explore this, this stuff. Although I need to check to see if I can actually handle these other guys in the corridor area. These ones, the elites. I'm not exactly sure if I can handle them. Level 69s. Yeah, I might have to wait. I'm going to wait until I get this back up before I even attempt them. Just as a precaution. I really don't want to go in the habit of losing XP over doing something stupid. I don't know how strong those guys are. Yeah, it should keep us in tow for a bit. now. As you can see, I can get through this much, much easier. So we'll take the time to actually explore up here first. So we're going to explore the upper level first, and then we'll make our way down.
right here is the pit that leads down to the uh, combat uh, pit, where uh, the, you're just basically thrown in there with a whole bunch of other stuff. That's actually kind of a fun area. There's just a lot of roaming mobs. So this is like the Fortress of the Geeks, uh, proving grounds for new initiates. So they sit there and beat each other up until so many they've killed, and then they become one of these uh, guys. Or training for one of these guys. area we're on. We'll go through in here, check this area out, make our way around here, and go. Kind of check everything out as we go. These do hit pretty hard, though. I have a lot of AAs, as you can see. So I'm up to 251 used. So I got them all in uh, general right now. Basically, I'm working on the general to better uh, improve my self capabilities. Although I can actually work on other areas to get more out of it. Supposedly, uh, certain areas you are in will teleport you to here in the higher level of the areas. It's kind of like a waiting room. This is where the GMs would pull people in this zone if they needed to. They even got hidden areas in the walls uh, that you can only access at, with a GM account, which is kind of interesting. So you can actually walk into the wall in certain locations, and that would be a nice little uh, containment area. All the zones have the hidden areas, and then uh, they have the standard uh, teleport areas like that. Why would I know that? Is because I was actually Buzz GM for a short time. Time restraints uh, did not allow me to uh, actually uh, stay for too long because I had to move and some other stuff. I was uh, GM for about three months. There's also a secret cabin in one of the zones. I did not go there personally, but I know it existed. <laughs> it was like the GM cabin village or whatever. It's more of I didn't have the privilege to go there. Funny thing about NDAs, they last for so long. continue exploring the top level of this zone. 
So we're coming over here. This is an access down area. Go down this area, or we could go down this area. Um, let's just explore this area first, up to the stairs. As you can see here, this is one of the stair areas. Ooh, flare. Yeah, I definitely want to take him solo. So we'll ignore that for right now. Now I'm using as little mana as possible to ensure that I keep up with as much uh, uptime as possible for fighting. So I'm only throwing a uh, Shaw's Legacy and my Fever Spike on the targets to give myself a uh, fighting edge. And by the way, thank you for taking the time to check it out and watch me play this evening. Um, say hello to some people. This might cause a slight delay. Jolly Ruthless, thank you for the watch. Some uh, Rangai, thanks for the watch. The Kerr, thanks for the watch. Yeah, I don't have uh, the game set to uh, windowed, so if I tab out to look at something real quick or uh, say hello to you guys, it uh, kind of freezes the gameplay a bit. I do apologize. I just don't like the uh, smaller screen size of the gameplay when you do the uh, windowed version. I'm still trying to find a good setting for that. I'm really picky on my settings. Better fever spike this guy. So, this is basically the full tour of the top part. And then that's the pit that we're actually aiming for. We could easily just uh, f levitate down and run right in there if I wanted to. But what's the fun in that? Let's just fight our way down. It's more fun that way. Man, I wish I had a disarm skill. That would have been so nice. Man, I'm really pissing him off. Now, I saved my staunch recovery for very, very important uh, fights. Or situations where I really need the uh, health and mana. That should be level healing up very shortly. runs for you. An element of parchment. Not bad. Alright, let's make our way down. Oh, 
welcome viewers we're basically exploring uh, this zone it's uh, uh, fortress of Zeke so we're just basically starting off at the northern end of the map we've uh, come through here went around through here and up through here I decided not to go down this way just yet we'll save that for another day and then we're gonna make our way down through the lower levels through here checking out every room along the way all right jolly ruthless thank you for the follow that is awesome of you <laughs> and oh by the way you're welcome to talk with me uh, over here on www.twitch.tv uh, talent that's where we have a chat program here for and you're welcome to join in and uh, say hello and stuff pretty sociable too oh I try to think I am <laughs> but not nah, seriously you're welcome to come over and say hi and chew the fat with me now, why is he running oh too close to mobs that's why but he'll die soon oh no he's is running Let's go ahead and hit uh, my uh, Steadfast Servant. We'll take Taunt off the pet, and I'll take the most of the heat. And then we'll hit Lessons Devoted when he's at 20%. The reason being is this, is that I'm just gonna... This little guy will just keep me healed so easily. Some more aggro. There we go. Good. This is devoted. There we go. Now I get double XP for 30 minutes, and I have a uh, little healing minion for 30 minutes. About 13%, he'll stop running. Yep, there we go. I love the hobble of spirits. Now at higher levels for the beast lord, the uh, fever, the uh, disease and poison becomes instacast. Which is so nice. Frenzy Spirit uh, gives me 200% uh, attack speed. Which is actually pretty good. Take a look at that right about, I believe, here. Pretty much. Yeah, I like the new icon. What do you think? <laughs> I put it up. Looks really nice there, Ten Fingers. Thank you so much. I even messaged you directly uh, on your uh, um, Discord. And I also put a special thanks up for you in the chat area. Thank you. 
right, we got an axe armsman down here. Let's go ahead and take him out. Conserve mana here for a bit. Yeah, look at that pretty mug. He looks like uh, the orc of, uh, you know, uh, what's his name? Arnold Schwarzenegger. The pretty boy face. <laughs> or, uh, no, uh, John, uh, John Claude Van Damme, maybe? <laughs> with, with out the hair. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. I mean, that face just looks so similar to one of those celebrities. I forget who. But then again, it's only a face a mother could love. Damn. It's fugly. stop attacking so that way it can heal up. There it goes. Not as much as uh, playing a thunder. I think these guys have slightly less. And my pet does so much damage and aggro. <laughs> it probably doesn't even need taunt. Make sure that I don't have myself on mute. Alright. There's been a couple times where I've had myself on mute. Alright, servant. Give me your buff. I want that haste. Takes him a bit to figure it out. I need haste. Alright, so pet stop. There we go. Pet's healing up. time up the stairs to die. <laughs> one by one they file in line to die in the hallway. It's like a bunch of corpses lining the walkways and doorways. I mean, you'd think that they'd go high alert when they started seeing stuff like that lying around. very few games that actually have that mechanic. Metal Gear Solid is the game line that actually has that mechanic in it. If you leave a body out in the open and you don't hide it and they find it, then the whole place goes up on high alert. 
really quick. Which is actually kind of interesting. want to take the time to regenerate more of my blue. Never know when you're actually going to need it. Currently right here on the stairwell, going down. I have 90% into level and 10% into uh, advancement. I did not take uh, the ability to auto grant because I find it super cheaty. I'm an old school EQ player, so I like having to earn my stuff. I find it more fun. funny. Must have been one of the pathers along the way. Well, he is food for the uh, minions. Oh, I need to pet stop for a bit. Steadfast Servant will give me another uh, buff here for clarity, which is actually a little bit better than actually what I'm using for pots. Just be casting it any minute now. Servant's Clarity.
slow part is coming down these stairs. We've got so much to kill. There's certain areas of this area where there's just a lot of NPCs to fight through to get anywhere. spirit in about a minute. Nice. Go ahead and dot him up a bit. Waiting for Warner's health to go back up before I let him go on a tax break. See, when you use the pet stop ability, the water will heal over time, even though it's under attack or in combat. I think it's only accessible when you have pet hold available. Actually, no, you can do it actually early on, so it works early on, too. I was told that it was working at level 24 by uh, another Beast Lord that was leveling up. finally here. So this is basically the breakfast hall for these guys. Let's see, can I solo pull these? I've never tried solo pulling. Okay, works here. They're far enough apart. That's good to know. I tired. What's that guy? Scout. See how far he goes. Kind of look like an executioner from the distance.
Having multiple of these, I'm not too worried about. If I had four or more, then that'd be a problem. if there's more than two. I mean, if there's two or more. Can increase natural durability though. Planar power is definitely the next one you can get. There's a few here that I still need to get. Probably go to about 10 uh, PowerPoints before I spend them, mainly to see what is available to me, up to 10. So that's where we are. Um, we're on the blue area. It's nice to close off room. We'll clear this room out and then we'll move on. Sellable loot. Incarnate chains. That's actually going to be nice to sell. Let's see here. It's these right there.
Shaman. Shaman, Berserker, Rogue, and Ranger. <laughs> Definitely. Those dots are making that guy so mad. Went through 10% in about 52 minutes. So we're on our 10% every hour track. So we're not doing too bad. If I was in a group in like TOS or somewhere else higher level... I think I would be getting a ton of experience more than this easily. Uh, TOS is awesome for leveling. I was level 68, went in there, and uh, came out level 72 in under two hours. And I was with a really, really good group, uh, Northern Coalition. And Amy pretty much uh, took me in there and showed me around. It was a lot of fun. They were actually trying to get me, uh, I believe, one of the drops off of the names there uh, for uh, the Beast Lord, which is a better uh, focus for what I have, a 35% focus. So that 35% focus uh, would have been a 10% increase from what I currently have for my pet, which is huge in itself. system. Another couple minutes of uh, the XP boost. They're actually doing really well. What the heck is this? Ah, oh, must be for a quest.
It's almost out of here. Nice. Oh, what's this? No. Doesn't matter to me. Alright. Let's see here. Is that a named? No, it isn't. So this is a cooking faculty? <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Not often in a lot of some of these games you don't see uh, like cooking faculties and stuff. Not often. At least we know they're using modern day uh, kitchen appliances <laughs> for this era. Last 15 seconds. Okay, it looks like I no longer have my uh, little healer, so we'll switch over to having the pet taunt now. stop for now. Just both of them are going to turn on them. Protect the spirit for a moment. You bind your uh, controls correctly, you can actually one hand this game. Man, that's a lot of bodies. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. At 
least my body count remains very high. Must have got a double heal off. <laughs> That's a pretty good heal. I have the uh, ability to proc a double heal, which allows me to heal the water twice, or myself, depending on if I get lucky enough that it triggers. And when it does trigger, it's like very beneficial. first. my haste. <laughs> oh, you little bastards. Constant healing. Constant fighting. It's going to be quite interesting. Seriously? Oh, come on. Thank you. 
Got it under control. Not having the haste, being stuck here in the center is really bad. That's why I keep Sans recovery. Never know when you're gonna need it. That was actually pretty darn close. <laughs> pulled out of that, I pulled that out of my ass. Stop for now. I'm in a really bad spot. If I don't clear this out fast enough, I'll keep getting more and more spawns without being able to actually rest up and uh, generate mana or even uh, heal up as effectively. I'm still using a very low level spell, Frenzy. Actually works out really nice with the AC buff and all that you get. Okay, so this is the barracks. Alright, we'll check it out. First of all, we need to get our mana up. This is the first time I had a rest when we got in here. So, definitely making sure that I have enough mana for this fight. These fights. I want to check out this room. See what's in here. So, currently we're right... I know it's hard to see because I hate how this map system works. For way too... Faded level... There we go. So that makes it easier to see. So as you can see here, um, we're right here in the barracks area through the green arrow. And we're just going to pretty much check everything out in this area. 
So we're exploring and doing the quest here as well. Get to kind of see the rooms, how they're made up, the bunk, all the what kind of detail they put into the game. Each of the rooms and everywhere you go is really decently detailed for this type of MMO. Back in the day, this was actually pretty high end. Today, it's just <laughs> kind of low, but I mean, EverQuest is a really good game to get into. It's a fun MMO. It's got a lot of history to it, and in addition, a lot of different challenges that you can do. It's a more laid-back MMO compared to, say, World of, War World of Warcraft, which is like, go, 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 uh, know your strats and placement and sitting and placings. EQ is a little more forgivable when you're not in the right spot, but you will take some punishment. And knowing where to be and how to do things is pretty quick. You can actually learn the strategies of fighting the bosses and stuff very fast. I think it's easier to fight the bosses and the mini bosses on EQ than it is in World of Warcraft, because World of Warcraft is so mechanical now and so speedy. It's like you gotta know exactly what you're doing, or one person dies and the whole raid is screwed. That that's just wrong. So we got that down. Gotta hit this first one hard. They're like Shadow Knights. That's fine. Oh, a double heal. Nice. I like that. <laughs> that gave me an edge right there. Because normally I only get like 20% off a of heal. You'll see here in a second. This should be like 85, 95. Yeah, see? That one other heal was basically a double heal, which was, I was at 50 some percent and pretty much uh, went right back up. There we go, pet go. are a little tougher than the other NPCs. Uh, 
I have no idea what the Rudolph's plans are for. But, oh well. It's probably for a quest I don't have for the area. Almost back up to full. Alright, pet go. Stop for now. Hit him with another dot. This guy is not a pushover, that's for sure. This is the bunk room. It's got a few NPCs here and there. It's got two NPCs here that have uh, special quest drops. Interesting. I'll met up a bit, get my mana up. I don't want to be stuck in the lurch, so to speak. fight that or that and what's over here okay a scout so some type of chest not accessible I probably don't have the key for it ahead and leave this area out. Battle Wraith. Okay, yeah, it's nothing really important. Right. So, let's see here. Ah, that's a raid. So we can't really go in that area. I don't want to get stuck in an area by accidentally zoning in and not being able to zone out. That would suck. Okay, so we can go left or right. Let's uh, start killing some stuff here and we'll go left. Mm. Pet ability dropped. This doesn't last too long. Looks like I'll have to rebuff soon, too. Thank you. 
also John Clark from Facebook thank you for uh, the follow I didn't see that until today so I wanted to say thank you these ones here in the hallway I had to burn down fast so I'm gonna be killing group a uh, group at a time and then burning and metting up I don't want to take these slowly in this walkway too many spawns Time to meditate. I hate that twenty second wait. Ugh. Let's see here. Forty-six percent, not bad. I'll advance. We're up to four. Let's see, what is it unlocking? Not much, though. lot of points damn really makes the pet nasty 
129% critical chance Jesus, or higher. It's insane. Now this one is a lot of fun to have. There's a lot here that I so want. And then there's some good stuff in the class stuff, too. Alright, so, let's continue. area before. I'm sitting here exploring. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm in an area I haven't been in before, so I'm actually curious. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. Okay, I have not been in this area before.
Oh man, this guy looks pretty awesome. Stoke of Storms, Darku Armorer. Huh. Interesting. Definitely worth checking out. So, this is kind of like a brothel area. Kind of like a tavern seating area. Okay. Or supply room. game. Okay. Let's see here. So that would lead to the armory. I want to check that out. First, we need to kill off some of these guys. So we're pretty much exploring down here. I'm gonna head over here, check out the armory, then make our way through here. And then when they get back from POK, I'll have to go back to the uh, uh, zone line and then we'll come back down and uh, start killing some more stuff to get the uh, quest done today. start making my way back up then since he's on his way back so I'll have to pull up uh... oh shoot Whew, that was close all right so let's get my invisibility up and then we'll run ourselves back up Height filter set, and then we're going to go to Plane of Tranquility. There we go. Now, the nice thing about this is you can actually run through 90% of this zone with a uh, invisibility buff. There are certain mobs that will see you. It's these gargoyles. you got to be careful of them. Nope. 
Take me a few minutes to get there. Damn, damn, damn. A third one with this low mana. Teleport out. Damn it. Don't have the mana for this. Got out. <laughs> lucky my, lucky me. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> oh, I was like, oh, come on, come on, get it, get it, get it, and got it. Yeah, the close escapes. Soloing can have its little perks and little fun. Its little heights and. Uh, Scary moments. It's like, I don't want to lose 5% experience. Get out of here. If that gargoyle was not there, I would have not had a problem getting back up to the zone line. And then having that pack come down just did not help. I lucked out. Uh, that's all I had to say. Wow, that costs a lot to cast. All right, now I can make my way back. I'll regenerate all that mana pretty quick. I'm going to dump my bags and get on over there. It's not often I have to retreat from something like that. Holy cow. That was really close, I have to admit. And it was a lot of fun. It's like, I was actually really worried that I was going to die there. Because uh, experience is kind of slow. 
at this level if you're not in a group at the higher levels of the uh, game with a really good group. Oh, that uh, boar beast actually counted as a boar on the kill. That's actually adorably silly. Let's see, is this where I want to go down? Yes. It's right over there, though, but I need to sell real quick. All right, let's sell some garbage and be on our way back. Nope, we're not selling that. <laughs> Wow, his head is worth a lot. War talons? Huh. That's actually pretty worth quite a bit. Damn. You know what dropped? It was probably the boar that dropped it. Yeah, it was the boar. mask nice some good stuff down there when you get down there okay almost up to 20k plat someone dropped a shield nah, I'm not gonna pick it up probably there because they're gonna come right back and pick it up anyways oh wrong one bear saddle <laughs> some of those uh, mounts are actually pretty nice looking all right we're heading back to the fight mana should be up mostly by the time we get there There we go.
Oh, you're in my Discord? You're in my Discord? Let's see here. All right, there we go. I thought I was already in the Discord. <laughs> Give me a sec. All right, uh, game plan is we drop down. Uh, we go watch, stay away from the uh, gargoyles. So we're going to come over here to the right. And if you look down here, we're just going to rush that room you see over there on the bottom level. So stay high as you can until you get close, and then look down and drop right into that corridor. And then we'll kill everything that's in there. It should be pretty quick and easy. Let me go first. Okay, the room's clear. This is where we'll hunt the boars. But there's a boar pack uh, that spawns every so often that comes this way, and you got to be careful of it. We have to invis whenever it appears. Probably have to run your guys one at a time down. Making sure you could hear me. All right, and we just uh, we just start pulling, basically. <laughs> just focus on the boar. Just focus on the boar. <laughs> Zeke, Oracle of Zeke. be on the bird. It'll tear up your pet. Alright, I'll put my pet on the bird. There we go. We got it all contained. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got a. 
park our waters near over here after the fight. I'll show you where. Need any? Do you need any buffs for me? I'm good. All right. So just park the water over here. Using guard. And then we just pull them right to the waters, and there you go. Oh, that's a nice uh, buckler. All right, I'll start pulling. Yeah, we got to watch out for the uh, boars, because there's a little event that has 20 boars that run through this area. They'll stop right at this door for and wait about 20 seconds or 30 seconds. And then they'll come right through here up to that end of the hallway. They'll stay about 10, 20 seconds and then move on. So we have to stay in viz from that when they start coming to when they leave. Because we really don't want them. <laughs> we'll get a crow here. On the, on the boar. Yeah, you don't have to have your water taunt. Oh, wow, really? Oh, it must be his level. <laughs> oh, level taunt, that's what it is. can throw some thorns on the water. That's the only one that needs to be thorned. Sweet. 
that's going to help out tremendously. Every miss that he does on the water also does damage to him. <laughs> I love Thorns. He's a little OP. <laughs> Oh, we can stay here as long as you like until my stream ends. It's really good XP for you here in this spot because it's never ending pulling. If you got Paragon, go ahead and pop it. When my Paragon comes up, I'll pop it, too. It's going to be up in about seven minutes, I think. Five minutes. trying to conserve my mana as much as possible so that way I have a good bar of it just in case we need it. Do you uh, need any um, pots? pots? No, you're good? Alright. Congratulations on 63, by the way. I got stuff for your druid and you as well. Um, let's see. That's Beast Lord. I got the druid uh, integrate defiant wrist guards for Beast. And adepts, druid shoulders, and I'll get the cloak as well. And. Oh, our, I, oh, I already had the damn cloak. No, no, I have the cloak for you. All right, here. I'm going to give you uh, the items. This should help you and your druid. what you need and then give the rest of the druid if they can wear it. I'll give you a, a couple minutes. And then uh, that level 65 quest that you guys picked up, if you don't have an item from that, then just uh, select it from there. That way you should have all three by now. <laughs> That's a huge help, having that at 63. Oh yeah, and I need to give you my dominion. My ascendance, sorry.
Let me know when you're ready. Oh, that's nice. Oh, those are pretty nice for the for the type that there are. I'm fifty two percent of the way through level right now. You gaining a lot of XP on the kills? I haven't been paying attention, but I will. <laughs> All right. Let me know when you're ready, and we'll start pulling. I'm going to go ahead and say hello to uh, the people who are here. Give me a second. This may cause the screen to uh, stop for a moment. Uh, Commander Root, thank you for the watch. Fujimoto, the tool laser. Sorry if I brutalize that thank you for the watch jolly ruthness thanks for the watch tearing the rogue thanks for the watch guys you guys are awesome all right we're back all right let's do this I believe you need one more right yeah just one more There we go. It's usually the first target I pull that has uh, whatever spell on it. Then I slow everyone else in the vicinity. Paragon will be up soon, so don't worry about mana. stop to have it auto heal. Ten seconds and it'll start attacking again. It'll say that a horde of um, stuff is coming and that's when we know we need to stop fighting. Like a horde of hooves or something. It'll be in white text. Right, yeah, just pull anything, anything. Yep, that's what I'm doing. So if you kill two mobs, I'm at 23, 41%. Damn, that's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, we got a body count pretty high, don't we? <laughs> I need to turn you up because I can barely hear you. Sorry, is this any better? Oh, don't worry. You can talk low now. I'll hear you. Good. Well, I think it's because my mic was a little low on my face. So. Yeah, that can happen like... too. You sounded like you're like Michael Jackson talking very low. <laughs> no, but it was pretty low, though. But uh, I've turned you up, so that way you're pretty fine. That also helps with people with their mics a little too far from their face. That's 2% a kill, I think. That one was, anyway.
Making sure that Knight of Zeke was not a uh, character. <laughs> a unique creature, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, the Frenzied Initiate is unique. It's the only one I've seen down here. We do a good job at beating these down. Paragon. It's kind of nice to have a pet that does a really good job at taunting. <laughs> Pretty good at snap aggro there. Yeah. Shit. Oh, crap. We're screwed. Gate out, gate out. Why didn't we see the... Uh... Did you see the uh, thing? Saying they were coming? Wow, it didn't even announce it. What the hell? Ah, that sucks. Yeah, it did not announce the boars. We'll go yeah. down. We'll go down and get it. Dot your the quest done, and then we'll uh, go up and kind of fight our way around and stay out of that area. The quest is done. Oh, your quest is done. Yeah. Nice. All right, then you want to go back and uh, fight down into the lower areas. We don't have to go in that particular area to, so we can avoid them. We gotta res ourselves though. Yeah, I know. I'm heading back to do that right now. I'm a little annoyed by that. It's like we didn't even see it. It didn't even announce it. Oh, well. Hey, it's like a couple, like, what? A little less than 0.04% loss of XP with your res? <laughs> Not a big deal. It's the 5% <laughs> loss that uh, kind of sucks. Wrong way. I need to get a mount for my druid. Hmm. I've never gotten one before. Supposedly the Beast Lord's Warder was able to be mounted a while back. As a mount. Hmm. Never done that. Yeah. It was, it was actually... Uh, but I think they took it out. Because it was so confusing. Because the bugs with it. Yeah. It's a guild hall. There's a lot of stuff that I remember from back in the day that I noticed that they don't have in the game. Or was changed quite a bit.
Okay, where is Merchant? There he is. I'm on the uh, left side of the guild hall. Did you get a lot of XP off finishing that quest, by the way? Yeah, that must have been where most of it came from. <laughs> Okay, I'll wait here on the left side, so when you guys get rezzed up, just come over here and then res me, and then we'll start buffing up. I'll res you first, since your buffs are better than mine. Roger that. I like that area, but it's that boar mob that annoys the heck out of me. Alright, so when you guys group over here, I'll just uh, start buffing once you're done. <laughs> Corpse drag. <laughs> Did, I, did your druid get out of there safely? No. Oh. It's okay. Well, we'll gain back the experience incredibly fast. So did that gear help out that I gave you? It will, yeah. <clears throat> Does your druid have to... Hit, uh, Summon itself, still? Yes. All right. I should go by the ear, just for the pet summon thing. Did you uh, get the uh, level 3 pet hold yet? No, not yet. Oh, man. It'd be so nice when you get that. <laughs> that it gets buffed along with you. With the group buffs. Okay, I need to get some mana on the druid before I can res him. Yeah, no problem. That's why I'm waiting. Plus, my buffs are going to cost me a hell of a lot to cast anyways. Yeah, after the druids rezzed, I'll sit and then do Paragon with the Beast Lord. <laughs> yep, mine's down for another, uh, let's see. Five minutes and 58 seconds. At least we have the 90% res. Yes. The uh, way that I was actually exploring was going to the uh, Plane of War side of that map, by the way. And there were some really good high levels down there. Yeah. You want to go down that route that I was exploring originally before we grouped? We won't run into those boars down that way either. Well, if you want, I can take you to the new stuff that just came in. Hmm... It's what? for level 65 stuff. Oh, okay, we could try it if you want. 
uh, dragon skill, I think. I think that's it. Dragon scale hills. What dragon scale hills? Oh yeah, yep. we'll try it out. See what it's like. So there's a quest in there that you can get to kill uh, doom bugs. Um, we'll try it out and see how it goes. So once you do the kill count, you go and turn the quest in, and then you get it all over. It's a repeatable one, mm -hmm. and it gives you faction as well. Nice. Do you want me to cast Paragon on you and uh, Ocknum? I can do Paragon. I mean, not Paragon. Um... I don't need Ocknum, man. Okay, yeah, I always do it because it actually helps. I was referring to, um, do you want me to put Infusion of Spirit on you as well? It's about the same strength as you would be casting it, though. It's a single buff target, that's why. Yeah, it's all right. All right. I'd always cast it on myself in water. It's really worth it. Mm-hmm. Do you uh, always keep uh, the uh, frenzy up on yourself? Frenzy, no. You should. It's really worth it, and it's and it works all the way up into these levels. Because there's nothing that replaces it yet. Because it gives you AC, strength, and dexterity, and I think a little, AC, strength, and dexterity. Okay, and then so. Dragon Scale Hills, right? Yeah, it's through Akanon, or if you're in a guild, you can go through the guild hall portal, I think. Mm, don't have it. You can join this guild if you want, just for the portal. Nah, it's okay. It's kind of fun to actually run there. I like exploring, that's the thing. All right, yeah, this, wow, that's, holy cow, that's quite a way to go. <laughs> All right. All right. Do you want to run there, or shall uh, you take your portal? Yeah, I'll run as soon as I get buffed. All right, I got you all. I buffed you up, everybody. Oh, yeah. So we go to plane of knowledge, then we go to uh, uh, knowledge stone, then 
steam front mountains to the zone line and scale. That's only like a five minute run, so there shouldn't be any problem. And steam front mountains is not high level, so you don't have to worry about invisibility. Just use Paragon, uh, just use um, Infusion of Spirit. You don't have to cast uh, the single uh, Strength, Stanima, and Dex buff on your order. Because the uh, Infusion of Spirit is actually a higher level and does more. Oh, yeah, you're casting the. I thought you were casting the uh, Dex Strength and stuff. <laughs> Didn't look. Sorry. All right. Because when you're buffing them, that with the other with stuff, it kind of looks like the uh, Dex buff and the Stanima buff. All right. It's good grouping with you again, by the way. Yeah. So, what's this beetle buff, uh, beetle uh, quest for? Is it repeatable, or is it just like a daily? It's quest? repeatable. Huh. Interesting. Yep. Does it give anything good? Uh. Not sure. Um, yeah, we'll find out when we get I there. I <laughs> think it's a piece for. It gives a piece for something. I mean, you'd have to look it up online and uh, whatnot. I think Rasper's guides gives somewhat of an overview of stuff like that. Mm. It's probably a piece for a tuning quest. Or a piece for an og. I can't remember. They okay. like started doing that with the uh, seeds of destruction and all those, where you do like ten quests or some crap, and they give you an item, and then you combine them all together into yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I'm at the stone right now, waiting for you. Yeah, they've gone wild with the uh, peace quests lately. Let's see. Where are we going next? Uh, we're supposed to go to the zone line. I'm looking for it right now. Oh, okay. It's way over there. So, we gotta travel... I'm just trying to find myself on this stupid map. <laughs> Where are we? Oh, there we are. Okay, got it. So we got to... Let's turn around. Let's get the general direction. Yeah, you, you, you know the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here trying to figure out the way. Like, do you know the way? <laughs> I know the way. Yeah, but I don't, and you left me behind. Thanks. <laughs> do you know the way? I'm I'm actually have the map up, and I'm following behind. Yep, Dragon Scale Hills, and then there's Looping Plains. Looping Plains is a little later. Mm. But then you can get to um, the uh, Beza... I'll learn it all as we go. <laughs> MMM. M&Ms? Wow. Oh, so there's Looping Plains. Yeah, I see it. And then they got the Dratton Scale Hills. 
coming up to the tunnel right now. Kind of reminds me of the mines in uh, World of Warcraft. And there's a way that you can, we can pull this if we're patient to where you only get like one at a time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I've done raid pulling before in World of Warcraft and in EQ, so I try to find the most efficient way to pull shit. <laughs> let's see. Let's... Quest is probably on our left, right? Oh wow, that's some nice, le nice level stuff there. So I might not be able to get this, but you will. I think it's sixty-five. Okay, that's no problem. Uh, which one gives it? Uh... We'll just get what... I'll get what I can here and hold on to them. Here's 65 quests right here. Profit? I don't think that one's it. How about I just get all of them? <laughs> okay. Let's start... Let's just start with this guy here. Clockworks. The right. bridle. some things yeah I can't get any of these <laughs> yeah let's see which one is do you know which one it is you want to do the beetle they're called doom bug I'm not sh it should be like a task of three like birds one of them gives or they he gives you three so it'll be bugs uh, spiders and something else. Yeah, I'm just going to I'm just going to grab everything here. Sure. It'll probably be the easiest thing to do. Yeah. Absolutely. Ah, it's her. It's uh, Sigliak. She has the Doom Bugs, Scarecrows, okay. and uh, Crows. Actually, I didn't even accept the other one, so I'll just accept this one. Um, okay, we got the Doom Bugs. Specifically. And I'll grab the other ones. So I just accepted just these, uh, this guy here and her for right now. Okay. So, uh, let's go kill some doom bugs first. You know where to go? Yeah. The clockwork spider thing, or the clockworks seem to be the hardest hitting thing here. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Right now I got uh, Nymphs, Crows, and uh, Doom Bugs, and uh, Blighted Scour Crows.
Oh, doom bugs are right here. Yeah, but there's another spot that's better. There's like ten ah. of them or so. Gotcha. You uh, tested this area out on a high level character? Uh, yeah. Nice. I've actually done the content in there. Ah, that's why you know so much. <laughs> Right here? This is a nice spot. I can tell right yeah, away. I set up right about here. Yeah, I can tell right away what you're talking about. All right. I'll go ahead and guard the pet here. Yeah, we're targeting the same one. <laughs> okay, I got the second one. I got the second one. Where's my pet? There it is. It's throwing you a heal. Yep, got the pet on it. I'm jumping on the one you are. Wow, they stun. These actually hit really hard. I'm surprised. Paragon coming up. Slowing the scavenger. Not sure what the handkerchief's for. Probably for a quest. Alright. Pet stopping so he can heal on his own. God, I love that pet stop ability. I'm gonna throw him a heal anyway. All right, I gotta be careful on the poles. Uh, bring your pet over here where we are. Where's he at? You guarded him way back there? No, I didn't. You did. <laughs> wow, he is like... Look at that, he's, fly he's flying. <laughs> look at him. He's still lost. Master, where are you? Wow. He He's like... <laughs> on a kid, nitpicked. <laughs> Alright, there he is. I'm guarding him. Is he right near me? I can't tell. He's right above my head. He's a flying cat. Resilient little bugger. Yes, he is. Definitely doesn't want to slow, does he? Where is my cat? He is above you. He, uh, go ahead and click off the uh, uh, Flight of the Eagles. He'll drop down. Yeah, I'm looking for it. Yeah, that's why he's not getting the aggro. <laughs> Evil. 
Flight of the Eagles is guaranteed death for a master. <laughs> well, I can give us... Uh, what's the other one? No, I don't mind. I, I have a I'll levitation. just give him the other one. Yeah, I have the levitation buff anyways. Well, this other one that makes us into wolves gives us attack power. So this one gives us superior vision, levitation, and increased movement. I think I might get two. No. Only got one. Got the slow on him. Might want to get to the back end of them. <laughs> I'm not scared. He actually does pretty good damage against me. I am surprised. My combat agility and stability are six at the moment. I'm 11. All right, pet stopping for now. Yeah, the natural heal back ability of the pet is actually doing pretty decently well. There we go. The other one slowed. Can you root it? Oh, you won't be able to. There we go. Never mind, I got it. I don't know, my root's level 45. Yeah, it won't do anything. Don't worry about it. I'll have to watch. watch your yeah, I got my pet. Yeah, I definitely would have to come here with a group. <laughs> eh. Like with you and me, you know what I mean? I would be able to solve yeah. this very easily. Twelve uh, cursed crows, ten blighted scarecrows. There's actually a camp. It's uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, there's a camp that has all three of these all together. I can't remember the camp. I think it's the farm. Yeah, it should be the farm. That's the best place where that would be at, actually. Ah, crap. Three. I'm going to run around two of them. Your warrior's got all of them. Yeah, Root is not going to 
They're immune to root. I'm gonna run these around. Okay. Watch my water. Yeah. Let me know when that one's about to die. Okay. Water at 40. Yeah, I'm throwing them a heal. Man, these guys are fucking fast. <laughs> uh oh. Druid's in trouble. Water, water, water. Got him. You're gonna have to slow it. Oh. Is it dead? Not yet. I can't slow it yet. Yours is on there. Almost dead. Running this one. Okay. Uh... Alright, I'm gonna cast Paragon, swing by. Alright, swinging by now. Alright, it should hit you. Got you. I'll keep this guy dotted up so that way he keeps on me. Okay. Yeah, healing aggro is bad. <laughs> Especially at your level, yeah. Okay, that was dead. There we go. This is why I need a mount. <laughs> You're always considered sitting regardless of... Uh... Yes. I don't think I have enough station cash yet. You used to get them in the game as a quest. Got 827. Uh... Manning up. It's a good thing I know how to kite these things. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get my mana up, so I'll just resting right here. Yeah, if we get more than two, I'll kite them around until uh, the one is dead. Okay. That way we avoid unnecessary uh, healing aggro. And I'll throw like a dot on each of the ones I'm kiting. So far we killed nine of them. Not bad. We'll finish this uh, quest and call it. Just to give you a heads up. Because it's oh, almost that. It's almost, almost time. time. Yeah. The reason why I okay. got to cut off at three is because I got to get ready for the next stream. I got to clean, do dishes, eat. You know how that goes. Okay. Yeah, no worries. I will technically not eat because my roommate's coming back late. <laughs> 
seems that he's coming back from a friend's house really late. So, do other stuff. Did you uh, see the stream changes that I did? For what I'm on, uh, I'll be running th this week. Almost that full mana. So if you do the, that'll be two with that one, that pull. Yeah, I'm gonna grab it. Let me get the one knot. Is this one we're doing? The one you're on? Uh, the one the cat's on, yeah. Just making sure I dotted up the other one so it wouldn't uh, go after your healer. Yeah, don't even try casting on it. <laughs> yep. All right, Paragon now. Okay. My Paragon, actually. <laughs> oh, I forgot to give him Hobble of Spirits. No wonder why everything, they're not slowed down. There we go. <laughs> I'll throw a regen on myself. Actually, I should probably be using Feral Vic, uh, you Panther. Have regen on you. Oh, right, yeah, Panther would be good. Increase the damage, have uh, 150 per six second heal. heal up pretty quick. I don't think there's any more bugs up, is there? There is. I just gotta there find is. it. Oh, they're right here. Right where? Oh. Yep, I see it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There's two. Hold on. Be patient. Okay, yeah, pull that one to you. Going the other one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Keeping Growl the Panther up is going to be a little costly, so I got to focus on that. This should reduce the amount of healing my pet needs. Good. 
gets me something to do. I can just auto attack with the Beast Lord. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but it actually improves my damage in the pets by 22%. So it's a good ability to have up. Well, um, if you want, we should probably start working some DON stuff. Because uh, there's a thing. What is it? Let me see if I can find the stuff on it. D-O-N? What's that? Dragon's Anora. Ah. Got another one. How's the XP here? Much better? Seems to be quicker. Yeah, I did notice that too. So a DON, you work the the quest line like yeah, it won't be nothing for you because you're good class. Me, I'm evil because I'm an XR, but. Do you work the quest line? Yeah, until you get, uh, I think it's ally or some shit with them. And then there's actual quests that you gotta go do. And then you do, turn those in. And then you get to do a raid version. Mm. And once you complete the raid version, you get an AA. Or you receive two AAs. And then when you finish the first one, it's gonna give you, um... Plus 10 to all stats, and plus 10 to all stat caps. And then once you finish the second part of it, and the raid, it's going to give you two A's, and then a 3%, not counting, and the AA increase the hit points, a 200 increase the mana, and an unknown increase to endurance, and then your level 69 spell for your class. And then the third part, you'll get two AAs and an extra buff slot. The fourth one will be... The fourth one's where it's at. It's increased chance to critical heal, critical hit, critical DD, and dot by 3%. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I'm surprised. That's actually pretty darn good. Got another one here? Okay. Wow, it's eating my water really fast. 
These are actually pretty damn strong. Well, I have to be level 75 to technically be here. <laughs> Not really. Well, it's recommended. So what are these conning to you? Uh, they con as uh, glares at you threateningly, appears to be formidable, level 68. Yeah, but what are they con? These are red to me. They're dark blue. Okay. They're good experience, though. Dang. Nice. Five more bugs to go. Good thing we got them broken up. Now we can pull them one at a time. I like the fact we don't have to worry about a rampaging bull uh, strike. <laughs> it's nice here. Kind of peaceful. If you need to use your Paragon, go ahead and do it every time it's up. <laughs> Mine will be up soon. Incoming. Ooh, a Druid spell. Rank 2. That's what picked up. What level? 78. Damn, that's not bad. We can actually farm spells here. Yep. I'm up for that. Will you be able to play Tuesday? No, that is... A, unfortunately, that's a raid night. Ah. Uh, what night would uh, work for you during the week? I can actually uh, switch around my schedule a little bit. I'll tell Mondays, you what. I can tell Wednesdays you. Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay, let me take a look at my uh, list here. I can switch it on Monday, uh, Wednesday, and Thursday or Friday. So Thursdays are a raid night, Tuesdays a raid night, Saturdays a raid night. Okay. So what day do you want it on? Because I'm just going to switch a uh, whatever day I'm switching with. Uh, whatever's convenient for you, because my schedule is, like, totally open. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm working around you, so... <laughs> yeah, it don't matter to me. Uh, I can be on whenever. I'm well, usually just playing every quest anyway. Just pick a day. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pick a day, and I'll switch it with that day. Uh, so you you do Saturdays as well, though, right? Yeah, I I ever quest Saturday and Sunday. Right, it's same time usually. Yep. I just wished I wouldn't have missed Saturday. Well, nobody knew I was starting back up on Saturday. Oh, right, right, right.
Well, technically, I did say something, but it, I guess it was vague. And plus, on Saturday, I accidentally did not put a title to the stream. Gotcha. So nobody knew I was streaming when I was, except for those who are on follow. But it wouldn't tell you what it was, though. That was the thing. So during the week, like, when do you get on uh, to do your thing on Tuesday? Uh, 7 to uh, 10. That's when you play EverQuest, 7 yeah. to 10? Weekdays, 7 to 10. Okay. Um, so you want to just do Wednesdays then? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. Then I'll have Tuesdays off, and then uh, Wednesday I'll do EQ. Okay. I can switch it around. Okay. I just have to have one day off. Yeah. Can't. Totally. I'll get this one on lockdown real quick. Jesus, is it uh, being uh, hard to control? There we go, got it. Okay, I'm healing myself, so don't worry about it. Damn, this thing stuns like crazy. <laughs> Paragon coming in. It's on a 15 second cycle stun, by the way. Just if you want to know when it actually triggers its stun effect. And I nearly killed this by myself. You did, you beast. <laughs> All right. It looks like... Uh... Did you finish it? Yeah, I finished it. Let's go ahead and uh, head back, turn it in, and then uh, we'll come back Wednesday and pick up where we left off. Let's see how much experience did I get out of this. I don't think anything aggro's us on the way back. It's only Watch bugs. out for them clockwork spiders. Oh, yeah, I know those will. I haven't seen any on our way around. Shadow. Ooh. Those spiders. Oh, over by the clockwork. That's why. Yeah, those cats are dubious to me. They ambly to me. They they love Iskar. And there's a, there's a scarecrows right there too. Yeah, that's the farm camp. That's got the bugs, and there's three three different names that spawn in there. A scarecrow named, a bug named, and a bird named. Nice. <laughs> the doom bugs are amiable. <laughs> Just killed 20 of your kind and they're amiable. So, what's your EXP at right now before you turn in? 1.5% of experience required to go from level 73 to 74 or 
51.9 experience AA and nine at 9.2 percent mercenary AA. Wow. Um, gain faction with Akan Strike Force, so I can gain either faction or I can gain experience. I don't have my earbuds in for the stream. Yeah. I, oh, sorry. I can either gain experience or I can gain faction. I'm going for experience because I want to level. <laughs> so this is a repeatable quest. Nice. It is, yes. It's 1.5%. Yeah, I can get the Doombug quest again. Yep. Alright, there we go. We got the Doombugs again. <laughs> nice. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and camp out here. Uh, oh, thanks okay. for uh, joining me. Sure. And then I'll see you um, Wednesday. I'm going to head back to POK, I think. Alright, have fun. <laughs> okay. All right, I want to thank everybody for watching this play some this EverQuest much. this evening. It was a lot of fun. We got a few uh, quests me. down, <laughs> and uh, we just kind of messed around a bit. And we uh, actually went to the new uh, area called Doom Hill. I uh, sorry, was it? Is that right? Let me see here. To Dragon Scale Hills, which is the new content yeah, I'm that they added. Sixty-nine percent in on the Druid. Nice. That was good XP. Seventy-five percent in on the Beast Lord. Yeah, that was good XP for you. All right, definitely that's it. So tomorrow we're going to be picking up with a new uh, game called uh, Second Extinction. It's on, um, it's basically dinosaurs have taken over the planet and forced mankind into space. And you're some of the last survivors trying to retake Earth. And it's a uh, first person shooter. Uh, and they got a bunch of different classes available to play. And it's a lot of fun. Anyways, you'll see that tomorrow. That'll start at 7. Uh, we're going to be switching uh, Tuesday's EverQuest to Wednesday and no stream on Tuesday. So just to let you know, there's a slight change. I'm going to go ahead and fix that later tonight. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. Be well. Be safe. And please follow if you like what you see. And if you want to support the stream, feel free to donate or uh, subscribe. Every little bit helps. Thanks for watching all. Take care. Silk Talon out.